Because <sighs> I do know, like, as soon as we talk to the professor and leave, it's gonna start a cutscene, so... No! She ran off. And then, like... Okay, now, okay, yeah, now, then we do a mission where we have to find Yaya. And I think this is just a uh, vertical platforming section. And you know, <laughs> again, you know how much I like those, so uh, I'm, I'm fine with that. Oh god, do you, you want to be, like, careful there? You don't want to be near that guy. Okay, th so there is a sun medal here. There's a timer. Um, so yeah, there's no nothing too crazy here go like going on, but it's just some extra content once again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wanna lengthen this, lengthen this a little bit? Yeah, I, there's nothing. I have nothing bad to say about this either, really, like, um, <laughs> stuck in a pot. I like how the metal, like, no, I, okay, I, I could have sworn the metal moved. I guess I was just seeing things. Um, like, again, it's just more bang for your buck, really. You don't ever have to do this, and, you know. Okay, okay can you, like, grab onto that, please? Oh, God. Gonna make this awkward. Okay, thank God they left these boxes here. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> nice. Uh. Yes. I don't. I don't want to drop. Okay, come on. Where is he? Yeah, you get extra punishment because you made me fall down all the way down, like, all the way back down. Okay, now I have to get back up in time. Yeah, nothing, nothing to, um, really say about this, but just good, good old-fashioned, uh, platforming, like, around this small area. And, uh, yeah. That's all she wrote. As I just drill through this little girl. <laughs> Don't quote that out of context, please. And yeah, that's that's it. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything else, but so okay. <laughs> Uh, do I have anything in the shop? Yep, some stuff anyway. Got some grapes. This is probably all stuff that was already here, I just couldn't get it earlier because um, not enough rings. Um, okay, can I... Is there anyone else that needs help or anything? Okay, you seem fine. What about you? Okay, so there's that. I wonder how much di how, how much dialogue these uh, uh, NPCs have because it seems to be pretty substantial.
But obviously I'm not going to bother going to every continent after every stage or whatever. But still, like, this, this is, like, pretty crazy. Sure. Yeah, let's just keep doing the... Okay. Oh. Okay. So I had to just walk around town. Uh, you? <gasps> oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, like, who am I supposed to talk to? Sh clearly the shopkeeper. No. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> oh no, now we need, need, now we need that as well. Um, okay, how, what do I, do I just talk to someone in a different continent? Oh. I see. Okay, so, yeah, that's, it's just an ongoing thing, I guess. Um, so yeah, this guy wanted me to talk to him in day. Okay, cool. So we get a day and a night uh, town mission today. Okay, so in the last part of the stage, I see. Yeah. Thankfully now we can do this. We can go up this path before. Okay. Where is this plant? Is it just going to be at the end or something? Yep, okay. <laughs> that was simple. Okay. Cool stuff. I guess um, I might as well just get the ice cream real quick and just get that out of the way. Okay, so do I ju you just get it? Nice. Cool. <laughs> Is that it? Okay, that was a thing. <laughs> there was no real point to that, I'm assuming, but hey, we did it. Oh, there's more? Okay, I guess we're doing this. Beat the boss in 60 seconds. You're not telling me to beat the egg beetle, are you? What do you mean by boss? Just a bunch of enemies? <laughs> I guess so, yeah. I don't know why it's quite, like it said boss, because these are clearly just regular enemies, but hey, what are you gonna do? I fail. Hey, more XP is good, so. I'm fine with that. Oh god. 3D platforming! <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, this is not easy. Okay, I need to be careful about this. Can I just boost? Yeah, I can just boost over that. Cool.
Okay, is there anything else that this guy wants me to do? I guess this the I guess this this guy is just the Missouri town mission dude. Like uh -huh. Spoopy Shadows. Wow. Seems like a name for a night mission, but okay. Okay, is that okay. Cool. Um you want me to do anything? No? Okay. Oi! <laughs> oh no. Oh nice. So that's why she wanted the ice cream. Okay, um, let me change to night one more time just to see if there's any more missions because I wasn't expecting there to be two uh, day stages here. So let's, let's just see, just in case. Okay, um, so this is going to be um, put together at the end of the... Uh, the um, current episode or whatever. I, I don't I don't know what episode what number part this is, but um, this is gonna be put at the end of um, another part because it the uh, end of that is just was well that part was just too short basically. And um, what I'm gonna do in this uh, session, this is gonna be a fairly short session compared to the others, purely for the fact that um, I'm actually not going to continue the story today. Um, what I've decided to do, since we're basically um, at the end of the first half of the game, I thought I may as well go back and... Um, let's see. Yeah, so basically what, what I'm going to do is uh, go through all the uh, continents, and if there's like... Uh, missions that aren't DLC or the remaining hot dog missions I haven't done um, then I'm gonna try and see if I can do the uh, do the town missions um, and just clear out basically everything I can before I enter the second half because I feel like I may as well get this stuff done now um, rather than later and I feel like this is just the best time to do it so this is, why, this is why I'm doing this. Um, so, yeah, I looked at some videos and I found out that if you talk to the... That guy um, that I just talked to, you end up doing a few Werehog missions. And I think he's the... I, I'm not sure about this, cam this overhead camera, this is a bit weird, but... Um, yeah, he gives you the uh, night missions for Apatos, so... That's cool. Um, it doesn't seem like there's any day ones to do. I, I looked at the... Um, okay, that's the end of the stage. Okay, cool. Um, I looked at the um, the missions, obviously, and the rest of the day stages here are just... Um, what should we call it? They're just DLC. So it's just we just have to do a couple night stages here. And then we'll move on. Um, I should probably mention that this is going to probably this is going to end up being fairly uh, loose um, in terms of like how this goes because obviously I don't remember where all the town missions are. Like I keep saying, so I'm most likely just going to edit out a lot of. Um, Uh, okay, how do I... I'm, I'm pretty sure there's another mission with that guy. Thank you. Oh, okay. Got this as well. But yeah, it, I'm gonna end up just going around a lot, and um, if there's like a lot of... Like... What, uh, white noise, I guess. Then it's gonna just be skipped, like... 
I'm not, I'm obviously not gonna show you go show you like me going around and just trying to find stuff to do. Um, so yeah, I'll try to cut out as much nonsense as possible. But as soon as soon as I find like a mission or like something interesting to, sh to show off, then I will cut to that. Um, so I, I guess this was the um. Hi guys. Uh, I guess this was the um the uh, exorcism mission that I was thinking about in the in one of the earlier sessions because uh, yeah there was another one where, where you go around the whole town here but I just didn't know what it was I guess it's kind of funny okay let's do this and do that that didn't do that much damage okay that's fine uh, but yeah. Okay, we can't break those. It do, it does still like vaguely work out under like the um village hub rule, so yeah, stuff that wasn't breakable before in the hub won't be breakable now, even if you are like doing regular gameplay now, so let's keep that in mind. Oh, come on. Cool. Okay. You don't really get that much ex experience from these. I guess you really can't replay these. I I, I suppose I was wrong because like, yeah, there's only a few night stages left and uh. I don't... I don't know, like... I, I swear to god there was a way to replay them, but I guess not. Yeah, no, she has a, like, a side quest where she's, like, trying to find her way home and, like, keeps getting lost. Um, yeah, since I've done that now, th this should be open again? Okay. Yeah, I think this is the last one. I don't remember there being any others. But I could be wrong. So I just fight a bunch of enemies, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Simples. <laughs> That's all she wrote. Really not difficult. Yeah, some of these missions are really easy. Not much to really say about them. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, that should be everything here. Um... I'll give a quick look around to see if there's anyone that has the uh, Dark Gaia sperm, but other than that, I think we're good. Okay. Okay, so this is okay. So this this is the last stage because I went back to the world map and I saw there was still one mission missing. So. Uh, I guess that's a little bit annoying. You have to like hit a load zone and then talk to the guy again to get the next like town mission. That that's a bit of a nuisance, but eh, whatever. So yeah, this is the last one. Uh, let's see what this is all about. Just more of this. Anything back here? Not particularly. Oh, there's one sun medal. Okay, so there is reason to look around at this one. Um, yeah, some of the, some of the missions, like we've seen before, uh, do have medals in them, but it's usually only, like, one, so it's not, like, that much, but it does give you 
a reason to look around some of these and not just always rush through and not like you know explore which is which is nice it gives them a little bit more um depth compared to just like being a regular regular old town mission um so you know that's cool and you know get having as much um as many ways to get medals as possible is good because you know some people need that like people have issues with uh, getting the medal requirements in for some of the later stages so um having some extra medals in these stages could give you the edge if you need it but you know just these weird mini robots they're like only in a few stages I always thought those guys were really weird. And that's all she wrote. And that's that. That's Abatos completely done. We don't have to go back here again until uh, uh, DLC. So that's cool. Yeah. This is a really f uh, this is a really fun opening area for like 3D Sonic or just Sonic in general. I think it's probably. It's probably my favorite opening stage. Um, I, I'd have to think about that fully, but it's definitely up there. So yeah, that should be it. I'll uh, load in and out of the um, stage hub um, just to see if he says anything new. But I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure we're done here. Um, so I guess. Yeah, I guess that's all she wrote. Um, yeah, the I get like Tropical Resort is a pretty good opening stage. Um, I don't know if I'd put it on the same level as Abatos, but in terms of visuals, it's definitely it's definitely up there. Um, and the music's like top tier as well. I I love Tropical Resort's theme. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't really think of, like, any others that really are on the same level as those two. Like, C City Escape is great, but... Uh, wait. Oh, wait, what? Oh. True treasures in, in this town, what? I don't know about... I, I've never done this. What am I looking for? I'm confused. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Oh, is it the ice cream? Uh, I'm confused. Oh wait, is it one? I think it might be something hidden in the um, guy gate. Oh, guy gate. The um, stage hub. Because there are like items hidden around. It might be something. I don't know. I guess we'll just search for something until we get like an item. Um, so I, I don't think I've ever I've ever done this before. I could be wrong. I have platinum this game before. Um, or I don't think this game has a platinum trophy. I think it. I think you just like get all the um, trophies and then that's it. But I have done. I have like gotten all of them before. Is that it? Is I, I guess that's it. I'm gonna let's check. Yeah, yeah, camera. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't it. Then I okay. <laughs> then I have no idea what he's talking about. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we convinced him. Cool. Is that what you say? Okay, cool. I think we're done here completely then. Yeah, cool. There's nothing else to do here, so um, I guess with that I will cut to when I find something else. Oh, look. 
She's lost again. And she's gonna go to her lost girl, isn't she? Okay, <gasps> fair enough. Well, okay, um, I just started talking to people and I found the mission. So, I found out that there's quite a bit to do here in, uh, uh, Spagonia. So we got, we got one night stage and then we got like three day missions to do. So we, we got quite a bit to do here. Um, so I don't remember what these are necessarily, but I guess let's find out. Another, it's another sun medal. And, um, I like the... They um, have this set to in like inside the clock tower, so I appreciate that. It's the best part of the uh, regular stage, so I'm all, always down for more good old platforming. I have noticed that the um, the tower mission, okay, uh, the tower mission so far have been f focused more on the platforming sections rather than the fighting, um, at least so far. So that's pretty cool. I do, I do like that. And the uh, fighting that has been here has been pretty straightforward. Um, so it's nothing really too crazy to um, worry about. It seems like the... Um... Okay, I, don't, I can't like, jump up further. Um, it, from what I can gather, obviously the uh, exorcism missions are like all fighting. And it seems like most of the town missions seem to focus more on the platforming aspect of the Warthog. Um... Well, obviously we had that one where we had to fight like five enemies to save Gre Gregor, Gre Gregorius or whatever the hell his name was. Um, but yeah, that was really simple when enemies died super fast, so it's not really that much, much of an issue. And I do know that there's a couple more of those types of missions in the game, but they really aren't that difficult. Um, so yeah, I, I do appreciate how most of the town missions so far have been focusing on the platforming aspect of the Werehog. Um, because that is a part of, the, of this gameplay that I do think is really fun, so. And there he is. I have no idea how you got up here, but sure, we'll roll with it. Um, so yeah, that's it for the Werehog. Um, and, well, for now. <laughs> um, we'll change back when we go to another continent probably uh, but yeah let's go um change back to a normal day sonic and see what we can find <laughs> yeah cool <laughs> Okay, so um, that's that was quick. So we found one of the three. Um, we had to just find um, uh, find someone's daughter, I guess. And it's in this section. Okay. Okay. Uh, that that's not what I was expecting to happen. Is there anything here? Oh, there is a moon medal. And it's right up there. Uh, can I go back, please? I don't. I really don't care about how well I'm going to do in this because there's, there's no ranking in these stages, so you can take as long as you want, as long as you don't like flat out fail, obviously. There we go. Okay, so um, I want to show you this off. Um, so if you um, in these sections, I think in general, really, um, I don't know exact like fully how this works, but um. You could, there, there are some weird speedrun tricks you can do where if you, um, if you, like, like, what do you call it? You, um, you slide and you keep, and you mash the quick step, but quick step button and, uh, makes you go insanely fast. 
and there's also the fact that if you like use the drift and like you like swivel around a bunch that also makes you go really fast as well like there's I don't know there, I, there's like terms for other things like D speed and M speed or something I don't know like much of specifics but I do know that you can do things in this game where you can go crazy fast like crazy like faster than you're supposed to and it just causes like some of the craziest speed runs you'll ever see in a Sonic game. Um, obviously I'm not good enough to do a lot of those tricks, but yeah, if you look online for like speed runs on the day stages, it's crazy the amount, the amount of things you can get away with in this game. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty nuts. Like, I'm... Well, obviously, I, I can do the drifting thing fine enough and the quick step thing in some sections. Mainly the sections where you have to, like, send the robots into the, um, dudes that, sit, like, shoot lasers at you. Like, I'm, you, I'm pretty f good with it, with it there. Fail. I was expecting to say. <laughs> oh, cool. Nice save. Um, I was expecting the same, uh, barn prompts as the, uh, main game. Uh, but yeah, speed run, speed running in this in this game is nuts, um, and uh, it can be quite a thrill ride. So uh, yeah, she thought this game was fast. Um, check out how fast speedrunners can do it because yeah, it's um, it's bonkers. Oh, okay, we don't get the, uh, is this just the whole ending section? I guess we just, okay, so I guess this will be a good time to show off the, uh, the, uh, quick step stuff. And um, there is also the fact, uh, uh, that, okay, the, the changing in, changes in level design is throwing me off, um, yeah, so I'm just, like, doing this. And it's like making me go way faster than I'm supposed to. It's it's pretty thrilling. I like doing this sometimes. Like sometimes I just want to play normally, but other times I just want to go like screw it and just go nuts. And uh, those uh, bombs just screw me up, but that's fine. Yeah, nice, nicely done. But yeah, I won't be doing that stuff like super frequently but if it's like a if it's like a town mission like that where I, it doesn't matter then I will like just let loose